Welcome to the CFO channel. My name is Ali and I simplify accounting and finance concepts. In this video, we're going to cover what the terms burn rate and runway mean. Specifically, we will cover four topics. Number one, what does the term burn rate mean? Number two, what is a startup's runway? Number three, how do we slow down a startup's burn rate? And number four, if you stick till the end, I will reveal one of the craziest startup burn rate stories I've come across on the internet. So in the simplest terms, the term burn rate signifies the amount of cash a startup is burning each month. Let's take a look at a simple example. You're the CEO of a startup and you've raised a million dollars. Congratulations. Now that you have this money, you're going to start spending it to grow your business. You'll hire people buy equipment, sign up for subscriptions, and the list goes on and on and on. If you quickly want to check what your startup's burn rate is, you basically do the following. You take your startup's cash balance at the end of the month, and then you deduct it from the cash balance on your startup at the start of the month. Usually, if this number is a negative one, it means that you've burned cash during the month, and that is your startup's burn rate. Let's apply some numbers to this so that we can really understand how that works. Let's say it's January 1st, 2022, and you just raised a million dollars from your investors. And let's say the month goes on, and on January 31st, 2022, you have $900,000 left in your bank account. What does this mean? Well, if you started the month with a million dollars and you ended the month with $900,000, it means that your startup has burned $100,000 of cash during the month of January 2022. Now, sometimes when you're meeting investors, you'll sometimes get asked, what is your net burn rate? What is your gross burn rate? In general, there are two types of burn rates. The first one is the net burn rate, and the second one is the gross burn rate. Your net burn rate takes into account two things. It takes into account all of the money that you've spent on expenses, such as hiring people, signing up for subscriptions, etc. However, it also includes all of the money that is coming into the business as revenue or income. This is why it is a net number. It basically takes all of the income that your startup made during the month, less all of the expenses. And if usually there is a loss in the business, which tends to be for a lot of startups, that is your net burn rate for the month. The formula we just covered at the start of this video where we take the ending cash balance at the end of the month and deduct the cash balance at the start of the month usually gives you what your net burn rate is. Now for gross burn rate, the calculation is actually very similar to how you derive the net burn rate. However, for gross burn rate, you basically strip out all of the income that came into the business during the month. Now, your runway is a calculation that tells you how many months your startup will survive until at which point it will need another cash injection. Basically, if your runway is six months, that means your startup has six months to survive, at which point it will have to raise money from either investors or take debt. How do you calculate your runway? Well, the way to calculate your runway is you usually take your cash balance at the end of the month and then you divide it by whatever your burn rate is. Let's go back to the example that we used for the burn rate and let's look at that startup that had $900,000 of cash left on January 31st, 2022. The burn rate for that startup was $100,000 a month. So if you were to calculate what the runway is for this particular startup, you would take the cash that is left at the end of the month of $900,000 and you would divide it by the burn rate of $100,000, that would give you the number nine. That means that this startup has nine months left to survive, at which point it will need a new cash raise from its investors. How can you improve your runway? Now, given the uncertain economic climate in August of 2022, a lot of startups are looking to extend their runway. What does this mean? That means that if you're a startup that only has nine months of runway, a lot of CEOs are looking to extend that period over to 12 months or maybe even 14 months in order to survive longer until they need that cash injection from their investors. How can you extend your runway? The easiest way to do this is to usually reduce your burn rate. And in order to reduce your burn rate, you can accomplish this by doing two things. Number one, 
is to try and reduce your startup's expenses. This is why in 2022, you're seeing a lot of startups lay off people from their companies simply because this is one of the easiest ways to reduce the burn rate for the company. Number two, if you can't decrease your expenses, the other way to slow your burn rate down is to actually make more money and that is to increase your revenues. How do you increase your revenues? Well, you can try and land more customers so that your revenues increase or you can try and increase your pricing so that your existing customers are paying you more for the service that you provide and therefore you in turn will make more revenue. Now, if you look online, different investors have different opinions about how long a startup's runway should be. If you raise a seed round or a series A, the average recommendation tends to be between 12 and 18 months. The founder of Y Combinator, a guy named Paul Graham, says that when a startup's runway gets to the three month mark, that is when it reaches a critical level, at which point a startup likely needs a new cash injection. And no kidding, that would mean that you only have three months left to survive. Now, one of the craziest stories I've read online about a startup's burn rate is from a company called Fast. So the story goes like this. In November of 2020, Fast raised 125 million from its investors. Fast forward to March of 2022, the company had to completely shut down. Now, if we do some very quick math here, that means that the company blew through 125 million in 17 months. If we do a very quick burn rate calculation here, where we take 125 million and then divide it by 17 months, that means that the company was burning cash of 7 million on average per month, which is absolutely crazy. In fact, according to an article online from Crunchbase, the average Series A for a startup tends to be around the $10 million mark, and Fast was burning $7 million. So Fast was almost burning the amount of cash that the average startup raises, which usually lasts them about 12 to 18 months. Absolutely nuts. So I hope this video helped you understand what the terms burn rate and runway mean. If you'd like to learn more about accounting and finance, check out my previous video here where I talk about the basics of accrual accounting. See you in the next one.